Dave Ox here at the Mountain Flyer, day two, North American Handmade Bike Show 2012. I'm here with Todd Ingermanson out of Black Hat Cycles out of Santa Cruz, California. Nice easy commute for you. How many uh, nabs have you been to, Todd? Um, I believe this is four years, or four nabs in five years. Four nabs in five years, and so far after just day one, uh, what's the reception been like? What do you think about the uh, crowd in Sacramento? How's it been? Um, I'm always impressed with the crowds, and Sacramento is just right up there. Um, the crowds here are great. They know what you're talking about. You know, they know the vernacular. They know the components. They, they know what they're doing. They know what they're talking about. It's cool. So tell us about Black Hat Cycles. What's your philosophy? Oh, yeah. um, try to make cool bikes, ride bikes. Um, let's see, what is the philosophy? I don't know. I I kind of like to ride all types of bikes, so I like to make all types of bikes. So I think that's reflective in what I like to make and kind of what I spend time on and all that kind of stuff. Certainly, just the three bikes you have here, even the mountain, the road, and I mean, I almost want to call it the long distance. I'd call it the full moto dirt touring bike. Right on. And what's your favorite material to work with? Um, I like True Temper Steel. That's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> How about what's the craziest uh, request you've had from a client or customer? Um, I don't. Everybody's pretty realistic with me. I've I've been pretty lucky. No, no, like full arrow recumbents or anything like that. I've I've been pretty lucky. I've been able to satisfy most people's requests, so that's good. All right, so Todd, tell us about the green machine here. What do you got with this road bike? So this is what I would call kind of a, a classic stage race type type road bike. It's um, it's lugged, um, but the the lugs are manufactured by me, so they're they're Philip Brace lugs, and then this here is a True Temper S3 tube, and then the top the top tube and the seat mast are both uh, Envy composite. And so those are those are glued in, and then the the seat stay and the chain stay are both true temper steel as well. So what that allows me to do is the the seat stays and the and the chain stays and the down tube really are kind of where you can fine tune a lot of your ride character, characteristics, and those options just aren't available in carbon. So with this, I can really make a custom riding bike that has I think the best attributes of steel as well as carbon. Uh, out of curiosity, and again, I think for our uh, uh, viewing audience, tell us what something like this would cost from Black Hat. Um, the frame is 3500 before paint, and then the paint's a little bit more. It has to be wet, wet paint instead of powder coat because you, know, you can't powder coat uh, carbon. So uh, you're probably looking at about 4500 for the frame set, the frame, the fork, and the, the seat post and the seat post topper, yep. and then potentially a stem. And are you making the stems? Yeah. Santorum or Romney? Oh, uh, whoa. I'll plead the fifth on this one. <laughs> boxers or briefs? Um, how about a boxer brief? There you go. How about would Jesus ride a black cat? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> right on. This is Todd Ingermanson, Black Hat Cycles out of Santa Cruz. Todd, thank you so much, man. That's right.